Okay. Okay, hi guys. So today we're going to do a very simple pasta tomato bake with sausages. Uh, it's really easy to do and uh, super tasty. So let's look at the ingredients and we'll get started. So first of all we have um, obviously some pasta which you're going to need um, which is going to then get mixed with some tomatoes and some uh, garlic and a bit of oregano. We're going to make a sauce and that's going to go all together. Put some chilli in that. Um, we're going to fry the sausages in little bowls so that they go in as well. And then on top of it all we're going to have a bread uh, kind of crust and I've got some bread and some cheese and there'll be a little bit of the garlic maybe the oregano as well on that as well. So we're then going to put that in the oven, we're going to bake it, and then we'll have a lovely pasta bake. Okay. Okay, so what I've done is I've started preparing some things. The first thing I'm going to do, however, is I'm going to get my pasta on. Um, this pasta takes about 10 minutes. I'm going to do about eight minutes, so it's slightly undercooked because it'll finish off cooking when it's in the uh, in the actual in the in the kind of um, bake. So I'm just going to quickly shove my pasta. I've got a pan of uh, nice salted water here, and in goes. That's that's full 500 grams, um, so that's quite a quite a lot of pasta. But I'm just going to get that underway and take a note of the time so that I know that in eight minutes it's going to be ready. Second thing I've done is I've sliced some garlic and I've divided it into two lots. That's like uh, two cloves of garlic. One is going to go into the um, uh, breadcrumb mix that's going to go on the top and the other half is going to go into the tomato sauce that we're going to do. So on top of all of that I then need to do these sausages. Now um, what you need to do with the sausages uh, is you need to make them into these kind of nice little sausage balls. Um, what a lot of people do here is they just cut up the sausages and then try and roll them. You have to take the skins off. I know that a lot of people don't want to do that, but if you don't do that, you're just going to end up with really weird looking things and you end up with kind of a slightly hard skin and it's just, it's just not nice. So um, what you need to do is you need to get a sharp knife and you basically slice the, a line in the, all the way in the sausage like that, okay? Very simple. And then put your finger in and grab and just let gravity kind of pull the sausage out of the skin, okay? So you're then left with a rather disgusting looking skin. Little tip here again, make sure the sausage is kind of nice and round. I don't cut through the sausage. I use a sausage at an angle and I roll it literally with a knife and put a little bit of pressure and then I end up with a little ball. So I don't then have to roll them into balls. So they kind of almost self make. You see what I'm doing there? Okay. So what I'm then going to do is I've got all these nice um, sausage balls. I will throw that piece of skin away because it looks disgusting. I've then got... Um, you know, just my um, my baking tray here. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm now going to throw these. I've got the oven on as well. That's preheated. That's preheated to about uh, 180, 190, so fairly high. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put all these sausages in, and I'm going to put some olive oil in. Okay, and I'm going to shush them around in the oil because they're going to basically cook in the oven in the next kind of nine, ten minutes. Okay, so it's pretty simple. Put them in there. And I don't want them all gunked up together, I want them to be all divided up and you'll see that the olive oil kind of means that they don't all stick together. And then you've got lovely individual little pieces of sausage meat. Okay, move those around. Okay, and they literally are going to go in the oven like that. So I'm going to put these in the oven. And again, that's gonna, I'm going to leave that for about... Um, I'm going to leave those for about 10 minutes. Okay, so I'm now going to do the easiest tomato sauce in the world, um, which consists of, you'll like this, some olive oil. This is the garlic and a few, you'll see a few chilli, you'll see I've got a few chilli flakes in here. Um, as you know, my family hate chilli, but I'm throwing it in there anyway and they can lump it. Okay. And then I'm going to get a little bit of oregano and I'm going to put that in as well. And I'm just going to let that uh, very slowly sizzle. It's just starting to go a little bit brown, okay? You don't want it to go any further than that because it will start becoming bitter. I've now got three tins peeled plum tomatoes and then they go. Best to wear an apron for this, obviously, so you don't get splashed. Okay, 
that is going to be my sauce okay and I'm just going to mix that around a bit and the garlic will stop kind of frying at this stage and now turn the heat up and I'm just going to let that cook for again maybe about 10 minutes or so and just let it break down um, yeah. we'll, come, we'll come back to that once that is all nice and ready and the pasta's ready and then we'll start doing the uh, bread guys okay so to top the um, pasta bake we're going to do some uh, a breadcrumb topping I as I said before don't throw old bread away put it in the freezer and then later you can then put it in one of these things and you can grind it up and you can use it in all manner of different things you can of course buy these um, your panko breadcrumbs you can get as well um, and again that'll give you a nice crispy finish but it's just why why would you buy something when you can get it for free so um, essentially all I'm going to do is I'm, I've, just, I've just whizzed this up this is a few slices of bread um, I'm going to add some things to this First of all, I'm going to add some garlic into there. Um, I'm going to add, this is quite important, really good pinch of salt. And I'm going to put a little bit of oregano. Okay, that's the end of that. And I'm now going to also put some cheese in it. Again, lovely cheesy kind of nice topping on here. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grate in. I mean, I could put a lump in here as well, but I might do it in a couple of quick, just kind of goes rather than in one go and then okay. okay so I've shushed this up and you'll see there's kind of you know nice amount of cheese in there so it's a lovely kind of cheesy crumb type thing I haven't put any black pepper in there so I'll put some black pepper in there that's always nice as well the last thing I'm going to do is put a little bit of olive oil in and what that's going to do is it's going to kind of bring it together but it just um, it helps it uh, go a little bit crispy in there so you'll see it shouldn't like change its texture too much but you'll see now can you see that it kind of looks a little a bit like it might come together um, and that's what you want because when you crisp that will then crisp up really really nicely so once we've got everything ready I'll bring it together and we can um, I can show you how it's put together okay so I've got my pasta which is um, now slightly al dente mm lovely and quite a little bit salty which is great I've now got my sauce which is the tomatoes you'll see that's broken down a bit I can do it for about 15 minutes and I've um, I break, I, I've broken that down a little bit um, I might just add a little bit of salt to this because tomato sauces often need salt and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pour this sauce into the pasta normally I would put pasta into sauce but it doesn't really matter in this case because I just want to very quickly mix all of this up okay and you'll see the pasta already is starting to soak up a little bit of that lovely tomato juiciness okay and what I've got here now is these are these have been in the oven again these are little sausage pieces you'll see they're kind of brown and crispy and that's exactly the kind of bits that you want so we're going to get put all of this on top of that. Okay. Oh, a bit noisy. Sorry about that. And then we're just going to mix it all around. So we now have, and to be honest, I've got to be honest with you, this on its own is a perfectly lovely, really nice sausage <laughs> pasta dish. So if you want to, you can stop at this stage and you can basically give it out to everyone but for that added extra yumminess let's turn it into a pasta bake and then all we do is we just get all the uh, breadcrumbs that we had from before okay you can just put those what I tend to do is I tend to put them in a pile in the middle and then spread them out just because that makes it that little bit easier okay a bit neater what we're going to end up with is this just yummy kind of breadcrumb cheesy <sighs> coating really that's now going to go let me put a little bit more salt on that I do love my salt that's going to go into the oven now for 15 20 minutes something like that and then then it's literally it's it's um, ready to serve so I'll uh, I'll get it in there and we'll take it out and you can have a look at it when it's finished okay so 15 minutes later 
and there we have an absolutely delightful tray bake and you see on the top this is like you can actually hear it but this is like really nice and solid on the top nice crispy bits so take it to the table serve and uh, impress all of your friends with a wonderful tomato sausage pasta tray bake